So like I said, I'm heading up to the mountains. This is gonna be the bug out test. All right, um, I'm wearing an orange hat because it is hunting season up here. So otherwise I would not be wearing that. I will say that the pack is heavy. The altitude is thin and the snow is semi-deep. It's about 35 degrees and it's 8.30 in the morning. The only tracks that I have seen so far are the uh, deer. This forest is sparse. So that means all the, uh, all the leaves went down, which is good for hunting. Not so good for cover. Um, I'm moving with just my waffle on. Military waffles like a long john. And I'm just looking for a spot where I could get away from the hunters, just set up a little camp, and then we'll see what we can get. A lot of deer track. A lot of animal prints, which is good. So, if this was a survival situation, I know I would have some good hunting, providing I didn't want to give my position away. So, I'm just gonna walk around and see what I can find. All right, so a couple things. So right down here is down the mountain. Right up here is up the mountain. I also have a trail coming this way. So what I want to do is try to take the high ground. Avenues of approach will say that most people will be coming from this direction. And if they're taking a trail, I want to be able to have an opportunity to either E and E, or if I need to take a shot, I can take a shot. So conventional wisdom says that up on that hill somewhere if I set up a good enough place to hide I'll be fine I'll get early warning devices all down here um, I'll be able to hear them if they have like an ATV or something like that definitely be able to hear them but I want to be able to leave the area as soon as possible so I'm gonna look for a good spot up in that hill right there and see if I can set something up all right guys, so I think this is a pretty good spot. So I have this rock, I have this rock right here. Right down there is down to the valley, so it just drops off. I have rock, so I have a pretty good place for protection. I can actually put my fire against it and it has like this little defilade. I gotta see what's in there. I might have to clean it out a little bit. There's deer track all the way through here. But what I really like also is it has this little defilade Right here, there's also more rocks back there. So if I need a secondary position, I could jump back there, stage all my kit, and then if I need to run, I can run to the back of the mountain or to the side of the mountain, which is pretty good. All right guys, so typically you would have your security set out. You probably wouldn't want to do this by yourself. My son did not choose to come out into the snow today to help me out because he's six. So I'm going to try out this shovel. This is the condor shovel. I'm going to see if I can clear this mess out a little bit. See what I can do in here.
Alright guys, so this is my little dugout shelter. I was having camera trouble so I might have to go back to the uh, cell phone just to give you guys an idea. So I built this little wall right here. That's kind of where my camera went out. This little wall is a wind block, a little bit of protection. I still got to fill in all the little logs, but I use nails. The problem with nails is it makes a lot of noise, but it makes things a lot faster. Also, it's a pretty good deer blind too, so if I need that, I could use that as well. I'm kind of high up on a mountain, but I just want to give you an idea of what it looks like from below. So again, over here is downside the mountain. This is just a little wind block and a rock. And I have a perfect view of this trail. This trail is where everybody's gonna walk through. Now, I wouldn't suggest walking straight up here. So what I did is I walked this way, walked all the way around, walked around, walked around, and then walked in this way. All right, you never want to walk straight towards your shelter, especially inside inside when it's snowing because you're just giving all your you're giving the footprints are giving you away. So it's that simple. Um, so ideally, by the time I hear somebody or know somebody's coming, I could decide if I want to fight or defend or I could uh, leave. So I put the uh, poncho up there. Let me show you. It's not perfect, it's a quickie shelter, but I like that it's dug in. I got a couple rocks. So this is dug in right here, this is a big rock. This is a big rock on this side. A little bit of uh, some trees, some down trees. I cut some trees and let's go inside. Uh, I'm gonna put you. So as you can see, got the rock here. Got a rock over here. I'm standing in the entrance. Got my gear laid up, my rifle, and I have my overhead cover. Now, a lot of things that people don't get when they do these covers is you got to make sure the center is tied off and tied off to a pole because this will start to sag once water gets on it. So you don't want water to get on it. You just want it nice and steady. String guideline, guideline, and the two poles that I put in the ground are actually holding on. I put some extra rocks for support to hold the wall out. Eventually this wall will rot and fall down. I'll have to make a new one, but for now it works perfect. It blocks a lot of wind. And up here, it is really cold. This is Bigfoot country. One thing I wanted to mention, and I should have mentioned this before, is that the um, you got to be very careful about where you throw your dirt and your footprints. You will see discoloration in the cold. Obviously, if I was on a run and didn't plan on staying here for a while, I probably wouldn't have done all this construction. I would have just dug a nice little spot, hung up this, and then just went to bed or hid out. But because I'm going to be here for a while, I don't mind making footprints, that's just something to note that the discoloration in the forest is going to be very noticeable, especially to humans. Everything out here is completely white and pristine. And if you start taking all this black dirt and start throwing it out there, people are going to see that. Alright, so really to, to be as stealthy as possible, don't take from the front. If you need wood, take from the back. Uh, it's a little bit easier to not notice trees that are up front. Um, if you take trees from the back or spread it out as little as possible. So I took one that's right right here. It's behind a rock. No one's going to see that. There's some deadfall over there, that kind of stuff. And what that does is it allows the eye not to focus on one thing. If there's a whole bunch of footprints up there, people are going to see it. If there's debris and you're digging up moss and all kinds of shit, people are going to see it. So always do it from behind your shelter and try to make it as least noticeable as possible. All right, so a couple things 
I'm just going to cook up a brew. This is a jip oil that my wife got me. Thank you, wife. Let's see how well it works in here. This is the gas stove. There it is. Oh, 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 oh. calm down, everybody. Yeah. There. Right. Right. some water. Woo. There's a reason they call it jet boil. Because it boils hot. Get my coffee. Good to go. Not burning the shit out of anything. There is a lid. If I so choose. So, a couple things. Um, I was able to find this. This is a double bit axe that's probably been here for centuries. Uh, maybe when they came in to log it, I'm gonna clean it up, see what's under it. Um, most definitely need an axe. This is Condor's axe. It's Condor's hatchet, all right, most definitely. Uh, I think originally I was gonna go without it, but now that I see how much building is involved, I think it's completely necessary. All right, I'll get a little bit more detail into that. Let's see how my coffee's doing. Yeah, it's just about done. This was good. Notice how messy it is, but the only thing is that it's, it's very small, and I like that it's small, but it also is almost too small. All right, so it's good for what it, I needed to dig this out a little bit. It helped me. Um, maybe a military e-tool would have been better, but um, this is decent. It's most definitely decent. This is why they call it a jet boil. Put my coffee in there. Alright guys, so one thing I learned from the military is that all this gear that's kind of laying around would not be laying around. Um, I'm only doing it for the video to show you the stuff that I used, but the only thing that would be out would be my rifle, ready to go at a moment's notice. If anything happened, I could throw on my chest harness, throw on my backpack, and I could leave. Obviously, I'm going to have to leave my poncho, which would suck, but... If I had to leave in a hurry, then I can't. Um, some of the things that I learned already, I had a pair of pants. I had my Marine Corps Digi Camouflage pants, and I know we all get fatter as we get older, but these used to fit, and I used them during bow season. The difference is, is that I have long johns on. I have the waffle base long johns. Those waffle base long johns do not fit with those pants. All right, so something to test out. Um, I was able to grab my hunting pants, and of course they fit, so no big deal. The other thing is the Shema, it was priceless. Everything out here is soaking wet. So, because this is a wood stock, I gotta take care of it, I gotta constantly clean the lens, I always have a Shema. Um, again, everything out here is white, so green doesn't really work too well, browns work better. So if I was going to go into a winter environment, obviously I would use more whites and more browns. Which technically, it's a lot easier to get them in a hunting store, but you can get them anywhere. I know Cryptek has a whole bunch of different camos, so that would be ideal. Um, jet oil worked fine. It did take a little bit to get started because of the gas. Um, but again, that's going to run out, so I also have to have different means of that. Um, as far as the pack goes, so far it's been so far so good. I did trade some things out 
Um, if I was going to stay here longer, I would pack a sleeping bag. There's no reason not to have a sleeping bag in this freaking environment. I would build a better shelter, all right? I wouldn't just do this, but this is just like kind of a quickie shelter. Uh, nails. Oh, so like I said before, before I left, before I left, I took this. This is a balls jar full of, I think, three and a half or four inch nails. And here's the thing about nails. They work awesome. Uh, I'll turn the camera around so you can see it. The nails work really, really good uh, putting up quickie shelters. The problem is the noise, all right, which is also why you need a hatchet. Uh, I wasn't going to take a hatchet. I figured I used a shovel, but I know I wouldn't be able to, to make it work. Um, the shovel, you can use a shovel to bang in nails, but it's even louder. And it doesn't have the weight, so you wind up swinging a lot harder. Yes, nails. You don't have to carry them in a balls jar. I would carry them in a bag or just rubber band them or something like that. Uh, typically, about 25 to 30 nails will probably do you for any type of quick shelter. You're not building a house. You're just building a quick shelter. And again, this is probably going to be a good spot for a blind, um, a deer blind, once I'm done here filming. Uh, the other thing is I'm sitting on garbage bags. All right, so garbage bags for a ground cover work excellent. Everything out here, like I said, is full of mud. It's all dirt and mud. Uh, my gloves, mechanics gloves, are completely soaking wet. All right, so the way it would work is you would wear these gloves to do your work, and then I have another set of dry gloves that are insulated to sleep or to not do work in. Uh, what that allows me to do is I can take these, put them in my sleeping bag, put them by the fire, dry shit up, and then use them the next day. But these are completely soaked, and I don't want to keep using gloves and ruining my gloves. So I'm not going to do that. Silky Saw, what can I say? It's awesome. This one is the Pocket Boy. Uh, typically, I would carry the larger one, and if I was going out for a longer... Uh, stay I would probably take the larger one it just has longer teeth and it's a lot easier to use as far as large pieces of wood but this thing worked great um, you could even put this in your pack I had this in my pocket most of the time and it is well 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 used all right so really sharp and I think I got this one for my birthday for my wife my wife does really good so she buys me all the good stuff also when it comes to clothing I will say that uh, these are, I think, um, what the fuck are these? These are the old Matterhorns, but I think they're called, uh, what the fuck is it, Bates? I don't know. I'll annotate it down below, but these are really good boots. They are thin silic, but they're not cold weather boots. Um, I've had these for a very long time. They are leather, so probably not the best. But again, I have a set of thin socks that I use to come up here. And I don't know if you saw in the video, but now I'm wearing a jacket. If you're going to be moving and you're going to be hot, use very, very thin clothing while you're moving. And then when you stop, you can come back and then put on something heavier. There's a shit ton of tracks up here. Some of them I think are coyote. Some might be bear. Um, mostly deer. But again, I have my rifle and I also have my pistol. So I'm not really worried about that. All right, guys, just to give you an idea of the wall itself. So I don't know if you could see, there's some nails in there. The hardwood was a little bit more difficult. So I had to bend over a couple nails. But it does work. All that space right there, I would definitely chink use some uh, duff or whatever I need to do to fill that in. On this side, it didn't go too crazy uh, because, you know, like I said, this is temporary, but what I would do is I would also build in this side. All right, I put some wood, build it up, build it up, build it up. And then of course, if I wanted to put a roof on top, I have two boulders. I have a boulder here and a boulder behind me, which would be a really, really nice roof. The only thing that sucks is like this big rock. There's this huge rock right here that's kind of in the way. But uh, I can also dig out this little mound over here and make myself a nice little spot. 
So just to give you guys an idea what it looks like. So just small enough for one person. You could probably fit two people in here if you made it a little bit bigger, but again, I was going for compactness, all right? Just leaving my bug out location, little spot. Walk back out the same way we came in. Just to give you guys an idea. So, there it is right there. And this is the path below. And that's where I came in at. So I came in and went up here, went all the way up there. All right. So, pretty good spot, in my opinion. It would be brutal to do this for an extensive amount of time, especially in the winter. You'd have to be part Eskimo. Uh, the good news is, when we're talking about water, yeah, you can melt snow, but it's going to take a very long time to melt snow. And uh, there is a water source around here, mostly uh, streams, that kind of thing. So you can get snow, you can get water, so that's not a problem. So. I think the biggest thing would be trying to get something to eat, food, trapping, uh, fishing. Mm, there is fishing, but there's no lakes around here, so that doesn't really help. And hypothermia is going to be the biggest problem, without a doubt. Uh, like I said, I mean, I already went through, burned a shit ton of calories building my little shelter up there and uh, I didn't even do that much I just cut a couple branches picked the best spot that I could find and did that and then now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna warm up but what I want you guys to do is to please like subscribe share if you like videos like this please hit that thumbs up become a patreon member it only cost you one dollar a month You'll watch videos like this and other videos like it before anybody else. And as always guys, please stay safe.